Hey guys, welcome back to another H2O Let's Play episode. So, I don't know what's going on with Ricky's tail. It's the only one that's glitching. Ricky's tail and top are both glitching. But hers is the only one, so I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> but, as you can see, well, you can probably tell, I redid my moon pool build and I used some Island Living Debug to make it an actual volcano. And so I'm really proud of it. You can find this build on the gallery at Emily underscore Rose underscore YT all lowercase. And let's get into it. So Cleo, it looks like she's glowing because yeah, she's moonstruck again. Um, <laughs> right after I stopped filming the last episode, Cleo got moonstruck and turned into a siren. <laughs> And it happened to be a full moon. And I thought it was hilarious because that actually did happen in season one of H2O, if you guys remember. Yep. Uh, Cleo, you're already in the water. <laughs> Although... It's not even a full moon. So. I don't know why she's like this. Um, but. Yeah, so I added like multiple levels of rock to make it tall enough. So there's like three floors, but only one of them is like accessible. And that's the first one. So I happen to build our Mako Volcano right next to the Volcano in Sulani. <laughs> because it just happened to be the lot that I built it on. I only used Island Living, Get Together, and Werewolves for this build. So if you have any of those all of those packs, um, y you should be able to download this and add it to your game. This is kind of what it looks like with the walls up. And so there are a few gaps that I Wish I could have covered up, but it would have like messed with the functionality of the build. So I didn't. And it looks like Emma has reached the point where she can select another perk. So she's about to get a new power. Uh, 
<laughs> I don't know why um, Ricky's tail keeps glitching like that. It's really weird. But yeah, let's see. Let's do mermaid and then perks. Select perk. So we could do I think we should do oh, she has ice powers so we could do sea savior because she did save Zane that one time. Yeah, sure. Sea Savior. Oh, with a strong body built for swimming in the unpredictable ocean, Emma can now use this strength to rescue those who fall victim to the sea. If a swim starts to drown, Emma can come to the rescue and save them from a watery grave. Nice. <laughs> All right. So I do want to use this time to let you guys know that I am going to be doing a train wreck Barbie season two because I had a lot of fun with that let's play and so I've decided to make a whole new Barbie mansion and recreate my Robert's household with CC so they're more and mods so they're more realistic and more accurate. Like I have a mod that will allow me to make Stacy a preteen instead of the same age as Chelsea. So I'll be using that mod. As well as the typical base mental drugs. <laughs> that got used quite a bit in the Barbie Let's Play. Where's Bella? Oh, she's all the way out in the ocean instead of in the moon pool. All right. All right, so back to them. So looks like Cleo is well. She's playful, so she's no longer moonstruck. That's good. I also have Ho It Up, which is one of the sacrificial mods. Um, it's from the same creator as Extreme Violence and Deadly Toddlers. But I plan on using that for the Barbie Let's Play, not for this one. <laughs> I love making them do the tail flip, it's so cool. All right. So. Yeah, let's. I guess we can um, leave. 
and go home, do something else. Yeah, let's send them all home. Really? You just discovered she's a mermaid. You just finished talking to her. You were talking to her in the water. How does she not figure that out? I do not understand the sentence sometimes. <laughs> All right. So There's the house. So it should be showing up there soon. Aunt Bella just got there and she despawned. And now there's the rest of them coming. And loading screen. <laughs> okay. Now we're here. And And it looks like Bella is already in the pool. You literally just got out of the water and now you're back in. <laughs> well, Cleo, um, I think he should go Dive deeper, because I don't think we've done that in this Let's Play yet. I don't think we've had them dive deeper. Have we? We might have, and I just don't remember it. Why does it keep asking me this? No, uh, Ricky is definitely not a, cho a cheerful person. <laughs> I did get some new CC that I've been wanting to try out, so maybe I'll make some, like, more characters, like, I don't really have anyone else that I can make, really, I don't think, except for, like, yeah, I think I've made everyone in the pod. I guess I could make Viridia. Or an Aquata, but I don't have the proper like hairs that I would want to use. Whoa. <sighs> no, no. Um I'm gonna have to She's, Ricky is drinking water in the bath. It's, 
And man, she's ripped too. Emma got ripped in the last episode. He keeps asking me if she's a, if she's a cheerful simpet. You and I know that Ricky is far from cheerful. Okay. Yeah, Bella, just keep good friends with Emma. Great. All right. There's Cleo. Cleo was swimming through a particular lush kelp forest and she realized a big cluster of seaweed had gotten wrapped around her tail. She pulled the mass off and found a small yellow bulb growing within it. Cleo plucked the little thing out and tucked it away for later. So I'm pretty sure that, you know, yellow bulb is Yeah, a type of kelp. Oh, she's got a crystal plum bite. Um, yeah, let's. Yeah, she's. Huh, I guess. It's their period. <laughs> okay, um... All right. Uh-oh, looks like Emma was a little fast and loose with the water. <laughs> yep, and now she's Finned out in the kitchen. Uh, now the only one left that doesn't have the that trait is well the um the uh, sensitive scales weakness is Cleo. Because Emma developed it in the last episode, I think. Oh, wow. Uh, Bella's ripped as well. Well, she's not as ripped as Emma and Ricky, but she's pretty muscular. It must be all the swimming. <laughs> all right. Why is there like, did someone start making food and not finish? You're coming in to use Ricky's computer because Ricky's using yours. Yep. Knew it. How are Cleo's fish doing? I 
think we can manage to fit one more fish in there. Why don't we go catch another fish? Yeah, because I don't remember. No, oh, there's someone fishing. Watch out for that hook. <laughs> Cleo and the person that's about to witness you turning into a mermaid. Although people in The Sims don't really tend to react to that, so. All right. So, she'll get a new fish. And what fish did she get? A leopard shark. Doesn't really fit our aquarium vibe. Our aquarium's vibe. You know. I mean, because this is a, The Sims, I don't think putting the leopard shark in there with the other fish will, you know, cause any problems. Oh God. Seriously. Seriously. So have they done this in like every episode of this Let's Play? Is these two or at Gosh, wicked whims, man. Wicked whims. Oh, and now Emma's mad. Uh, she's mad because she's PMSing. Yeah. Hello, why are you thinking about diapers? <laughs> She's nauseous from being on periods, so it's not morning sickness. Good. I was about to say, it better not be morning sickness because uh, it's been a while since she last saw Will. And if the baby's not Will's, then who is it? <laughs> Whose is it? She hasn't been with anyone else. <laughs> At least not to my knowledge. Bella, are you going around uh, woohooing with other sims behind my back? I mean, I expect this from Barbie, but not from you. Do not stoop to her level. I just realized that mirror and that window clipping together like that. <laughs> it looks kind of funny. I'll fix it one of these days because that one's clipping like that too. I'll fix it one of these days, just not today. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so. Well, 
two mermaids PMSing is not my idea of entertaining. So I'm going to end this episode here. <laughs> Bye, guys. Okay, so I know I already did the outro, but I'm going to try something to see if this works. Um, so they will stop propositioning each other. Because <laughs> if you have wicked whims and this annoys you too, here's one way that might fix it. If you get the relationships and pregnancy overhaul mod, you get this pie menu. If you go into room relationships and friend like and like friendships and so then you do specified gender preference for woohoo i prefer masculine sims for romantically i prefer masculine sims and so that way she will stop hopefully trying to get with her female sims i've done it to emma let's do it for bella And Cleo as well. So. I forgot to select her. You gotta select your sim. And click on them. And. Then you go to relationships, family, and pregnancy pie menu. Romances and friendships. Specify gender preference. For woohoo, prefer masculine. Romantically, I prefer masculine. Alright, so. There. Now, Bella. Is. Like, I'm really hoping that this stops the whole. You know, wicked whims. Thing. So. I'll let you know if it works. But. I'm gonna go fix those windows. <laughs>